Oh, I tell you what, Elise, uh, it has been an odyssey. A trip that would normally take an hour and 20 minutes took two hours and 40 minutes, and we didn't even get to our destination. Our plan was to rendezvous up here because Al was closer to the city and I'm farther to the west. Here's a heads up, 9W, big problems with 9W. They're just now opening parts of it, but if you're coming up from the south, that is really going to slow you down. 87 may be an option, 17 may be an option, but there are some big issues with getting around. Obviously, one of the reasons, the record smashing rain from earlier in the week. Now, and Elise and Lonnie and Vanessa, we've been talking about this. It's not just the rain totals, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches. It was the rate at which that rain came down when you had two inch per hour totals. Now, back to this morning, as Al and I are trying to drive around, I mean, we're supposed to be in Highland Falls, we're in New Windsor right now. The New York Department of Financial Services, they're going to be in Highland Falls later today, right there at the Sacred Heart School at noon. And they've got a hotline that they've set up as well. We'll share that in a minute. But that starts at noon as people are trying to now navigate insurance claims from early in the week. And as I look at some of Elise's and Justin's models as they update these computer models, it looks like this area could see some heavy rain. Driving up from Essex County, I had a horrible storm with lots of lightning. Al coming in from Edgewater didn't have much at all. Lots of variety. We may try and find a different location, but navigating the roadways up here has really been a challenge. So uh, we'll keep navigating them for you. That's what Red Alert is all about. Right now, though, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Wow, John, what delays. I mean, think about that. Double the time to get there. So we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Keep